Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to a brand new playthrough, Magical Bakery. Another game that falls under the, I'm not going to say specifically farming simulation because it's not, but it has similar elements uh, in being a simulation type of game. It's kind of like, it has some crafting mechanics, but on the magical side. So it's one of those cozy games that has some similar aspects to the typical, you know, simulation, farming, lifestyle kind of games, or quest, you know, games. So before we begin, let's go into settings here. Alright, so general, um, that's perfectly fine. Sound should also be okay. Accessibility. Let's see. Slower mode. Slower skill check. I don't think I need to do any of this. Oh my god. Food gets spoiled. No, and or burned. Easy sprinkles. Larger. Okay, we're, we're fine, I think. And then controls, I'll just learn as we play. Oh wait, let me, um, no, we're going to disable that. No, I don't need to remap though. Okay, let's play. Slot one, yeah. So I know a little bit about this game. See, like I said, it's a game where you can make your own character. Um, let's go ahead and name ourselves Shiny, like always. The middle part of my YouTube name. Sure. I've been doing that for 10 years now, you know? Okay, they got pronouns. I'm gonna stay as he, him. Voice, let's see. I'll be honest, they sound very similar and they're all pretty high pitched sounds. I'm just gonna keep it like that though. Uh, let's see, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine as it is. Honestly, I don't think I need to make any additions here. For here, they got a couple options. Oh, kind of like this one. Sure, let's go with that one. And then color's fine. Skin. I'll pick this one. That's kind of my that's kind of my skin tone in real life. Ish. Hmm. This one looks actually kind of cool. Let's go with that one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay. And then lastly, the wand. <laughs> Moon. A little pixie or fairy, whatever. Hmm. Let's go with, um... Let's just do the moon. Let's go with the moon. Sure. Confirm, yes. Alright, so like I was saying, I know a little bit about this game. I've seen a couple things, some trailers, a little bit of information on one of the, like, you know, upcoming expectations kind of game. Alright, so let's see. What a trip. Who would have thought this magical bakery would be so hidden? Is this really the right address? Hello? Is anyone here? This place is such a mess. Yeah, as you can see, there is voice acting, but it's not in English. Excuse you, this is the best bakery in all of... Selu is that Celuria or Kale? I think it's Kaluria. Kaluria. Well, it used to be, at least. And who do you think you are, storming in my shop at a time like this? May I ask? My name is Shiny. Nice to meet you. The Academy of Magical Bakers sent me here. You must be my new mentor. Didn't they let you know I was coming? Here. These are all the required documents. Wow, I got the receipts. Someone at the Academy's administration has surely screwed up. I'm Baba. I have never been assigned to a student before. And after 200 years running this bakery, they better not be thinking of retiring me now. And couldn't they have assigned me a better disciple? Your grades are terrible. At least I was able to pass, and the Academy wouldn't allow me to do my internship anywhere else. Anyway... If you don't take me in, I won't be able to graduate and will never inherit a bakery. Well, let's leave that discussion for tomorrow. I won't leave you out in the open tonight. Come upstairs. Sure, let's go upstairs. You will sleep here for now. Move aside. Huh. 
Okay. This is your bed. This is not a hotel. I usually sleep early and I tend to snore a lot, so you might want to wear earplugs. And don't make any noise. My bed is right there. Tonight I'll sleep on tonight I'll sleep on what to do with you. And now, time for bed. Oh, I get to move now, okay. Sure, let's go to sleep. This Baba seems quite strict. I need to do everything she tells me to do tomorrow. I wouldn't want to displease her. Yeah, that's true. Monday, week one. You're still asleep? This kid is unbelievable. Come on, wake up already. What a bum. Bakers must be the earliest risers, even more so magical bakers. Good morning, Baba. I'm sorry, I have a very deep sleep. I have set my lacquery first, or not lacquery, lackey, first thing in the morning to check the academy's papers and everything seems to be in order. Lackey? Does anyone else live here? Yes, he's quite sneaky, but you'll eventually see him running around the shop. Anyway, I'll have to deal with you for a while, at least until you pass those dang practical exams. Which I highly doubt you can do. Tidy yourself up and go downstairs when you're ready. I'll be waiting for you in the kitchen. Alright, so I guess we're ready. I'm not really sure if I can interact with anything here. I highly doubt it, but let's take a quick look. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I'm pressing A everywhere. And nothing is happening. Yeah, let's just let's just keep going with the game. I don't even want to pause the game and check out everything right now. Let's just go through all the tutorials and stuff first. So slow. Customers will be here soon. You must get used to waking up early on your own. I've decided to teach you the basics. Take note, I won't be here to help you tomorrow. I won't let you down. Here, have some flour, but don't get used to my kindness. As soon as you start earning your own money, you will have to get new ingredients yourself. Baking tray. Okay, drag and drop the ingredients from the bag to the baking tray to prepare the dough. You can also select them with A. The amount of ingredients you can mix depends on the baking tray's magic capacity. Look at the magic bar to check if you have reached the limit. I see. Press B to remove the last ingredient. Press Y to finish mixing ingredients. You will create the first sweet shown below the tray. Time pauses in many so you can experiment as much as you want. Okay. So right now I just have flour, so I just what, put one flour? Confirm. Let's see what I get. I got something. I see at least you remember basic magic to mix ingredients. Put the dough in the oven and use some coal. The oven has seen better days, but at least one of the slots still works. Some sweets need to be baked in the oven. You also need to put some coal. Be careful. The sweet will get burned if you leave it for too long inside the oven. Oh, so there is a... Oh my god, my cat is going crazy in the background. What is she doing right now? She has her moments. She's got her moments. I'm sorry, people. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven while we ignore our cat right now in the background. And we're just going to come over here, get some coal. Do I have infinite coal? I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see how this works. So it's burning. Mm. Done. Need sweet bread. I got bread. It's bread. I don't know what else I expected. It's just some regular dough baked in the oven. A perfect match for every meal. Okay, so here's all the recipes. Huh. You have a grimoire. That will make it easier. It's a good guide for beginners. The grimoire contains all the information you need to run the bakery. You can open it with plus. The most important sections are the recipe list where you can see the ingredients of every sweet that you have discovered. 
and the list of suites that the customers have ordered and are waiting for. Change between sections by clicking on the bookmarks or by pressing L and R. Turn the pages by pressing the directional buttons. Move between the elements inside a page with the left stick. Close the book with plus. Okay, so let's try this again. Plus. We can move between sections. Uh, what does minus do? I'll figure it out. That's minus. I'll figure it out later. Table orders, takeaway. Here's my recipes list. This is zero. Hmm, okay. Doesn't really give me hints on what to do though, huh? Yeah, not really. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Yeah, because this is just a list of... Okay. I'm sure I'll figure this stuff out later. It's not a big deal. But this is just my information. Age, height, profession, likes, dislikes. Waking up early. That's funny. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay. That bread doesn't look too bad. Put it on the table so we can continue. I see you are not that bad at this. If you are unlucky enough that a sweet goes bad, give it to Bob. They'll eat anything, even spoiled sweets. If you to get along, they might give you something in return. Yeep. If you leave a sweet on the floor for too long, it will spoil. Be careful and always place them on a safe surface. If you got distracted and the sweet has spoiled, give it to Bob. They don't turn their nose up to anything. Who knows, you might be able to upgrade their trash can in the future so you don't waste ingredients every time you throw away a sweet. Play around as much as you want in the kitchen. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance. Come when you're ready. Interesting. So, I mean, I only have flour right now, so I can't really do anything with this, right? I highly doubt, like, if I select this... Yeah, no. I mean, it does tell you, though, what you can do and what you can't. Huh. All right. I think we're ready then. There's not really much else that we can do at the moment. The scent of bread is reaching the front door. Customers will start arriving soon, but they won't be able to come in if the shop is closed. I will open in a second. That's easy at least. Stop for a moment. If a customer comes in, how will they know what they can order? Before opening the shop, you need to choose a couple of sweets as recommendations for the customers. You can sort sweets by price, group, or ingredients by pressing X. Selecting the same sweet several days in a row will make its price drop. Recommended sweets with higher prices are marked with a yellow sticker. But feel free to choose any sweet you want. Okay, I'll have to come over here. Select bread. And I mean, that's it. Come on, but I have to confirm. That's my mistake. Now that the bread is displayed on the chalkboard, we can open the shop. Ring the bell so the shop knows it can open. After deciding on the daily recommendations, the shop is ready to open. Ring the bell so customers start coming. The Magical Bakery opens from 8 in the morning to 6 in the evening, but you can close it earlier by ringing the bell again. The customers that are still waiting in order or to order will leave, while the others will wait until they are served and have paid. You can see how much time is left on the clock in the upper right corner of the screen. Don't lose track of it. That makes sense. Let's open. Yes. Open for business. Come here, people. Come so I can serve you. Okay, how does this work? Um, okay, thinking, thinking. I guess we just wait. Uh, time is not passing, though. Is that because it's a tutorial? Oh, let me approach. Let's see. Good, good. Here's our first customer. Treat them well and bring them what they order. They usually don't have much patience. The customer already knows which suite they want. Press A near them and bring them the suite they ordered. When the customer is done eating, they will wait for you to charge them for the suite. The faster you fulfill their order, the bigger the tip you will receive. Don't slack off too much. Customers are not that patient and they will leave if you don't take care of them. Not every customer will sit at the table to order. 
but you will find out about that on your own. If you are in a hurry, you can always press R to run. Look at your shoes to know when you can run again. Bread. Okay, so we can go this way. We make this. I have to go in here. And I basically have to wait some time. It still shows 8. I think it's because it's still a tutorial. I'm pretty sure that's why. So, so far this mechanic, like this game, reminds me of um, Little Dragon's Cafe. I don't know if any of you ever played that game, but it was pretty cool, honestly. Oh wait, hold on. I'm such an idiot. I forgot about the coal. I was like, uh... Never mind. Yeah, but it reminds me of um, Little Dragon's Cafe. How it's a game where you constantly have to deliver the orders, you know, and you get to choose what many you want per day. It, it was an interesting game. It wasn't like amazing or anything. It had its faults, but it was pretty solid overall. Okay, so there's the bread. Eating, and I'm sure... Oh, there we go. Okay, I got some money. I got a, I think it was worth five and I got two additional, so I got a two dollar or two coin tip, whatever. Well done. But aren't you going to use your cleaning spell? No customer will be willing to sit at a dirty table. Um, I could use a little refresher on how to use my wand to clean. Do you need everything spoon fed to you? Don't want your grades for that bad. Pay attention. This is how you cast a cleaning spell. Select a cleaning spell with up. To clean the tables, hold B. The table will be tidied up by magic. Wand spells have a recharge time, so you will have to wait a few seconds before using them again. Well, this is all I can teach you. This shop is special. A time freezing spell makes the time stop until you ring the bell. From now on, you will be on your own and time will run normally. I'll be watching you. Damn. Wait, what? What the heck is going on? Wait, do I have to hold? Okay, okay, I think I have to hold it one sec. There we go. Are they ready to order? You want bread, okay. You want bread? Well, I got your bread. All I can do is bread today, though. I don't really have much else I can do at the moment, so... It's gonna have to wait. Yeah, I mean, I keep getting coal. I don't know if I need to keep finding coal somewhere else, but... We'll see. Oh, God. Okay, that again. More bread, sure. Oh my god, it is actually a, a pretty fast-paced environment, I will say. Wait, was that considered a table? I don't actually know. Hold on a sec. Everybody wants bread. So do I just, I guess I just do this non-stop until 6 p.m., huh? Something like that, yeah. clean it and I guess I just gotta keep making them oh man but I'm gonna run out of ingredients though well, all I have is flowers so I just gotta keep doing it 
And looks like I can only make it one at a time. Hmm. What if I start making another one here then? While I'm waiting for this one. There we go. That's a looks like that's a to-go order. Huh. Yeah, so I gotta be faster then. I gotta start multitasking and doing both at the same time. Okay, what's gonna end first? I don't actually know. It ended, okay. We're gonna do that one. Wait, what? Why do I have another? Wait, I thought I gave it to you. What the freaking hell? Also, I have this over here. Does this count? Can I take this bread and give it to somebody? <laughs> Looks like I can, yes. Wait, hold on, hold on. Alright, thank you for the money. Oh god, I, I, gotta, I gotta do this fast. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty much just a rinse and repeat. I gotta do that, then I come over here. Clean that space again. Oh shoot. More coal, yes. Yeah, so I guess the table is just to put like an extra something in there. every single time that an order or that a customer walks in I'm pretty sure I think that's how that works no I gave it to you okay and it's now is it after hours no there's still people coming in Oh, all right, because uh, 6 o'clock would be 18 o'clock, not 16 o'clock, okay. Okay. I'm sure we're going to get one more, so let's go ahead and make one more there. It's a lot of cash I'm making. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here we're gonna do... I am very low on flour. Oh, that was it. You did an improvable job. Keep it up and you might become useful one day. I'm going to sleep. You can do whatever you want in your free time, but don't make any noise when you go back upstairs. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What can we do? I mean, pretty much nothing still. We just have to go back upstairs and so... Oh, can I leave? Doesn't seem like it, no. I guess I'll just leave that all right there. Sure. Go to sleep? Yes, let's do it.
Money earned? How much? How much did I earn? 91. Just under 100. Okay. Orders. 12. 12 happy ones. Nice. Discover sweets. One. What'd I get? Nothing else yet. That's okay. I'm sure within time I will unlock more stuff. Alright, now it's Tuesday of week one. Great. <sighs> Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna go to the shop right now. Well, I need to figure out how to get more ingredients because I'm about to run out. I'm sure the game will tell me that next, right? I'm pretty sure. Today I woke up by myself and full of energy to work hard, even though I am beat from yesterday's hustle. Nobody said being a baker was easy. I was just tidying the entrance up. Your bread sold well yesterday. Word might have spread around town. Who knows, more customers may come in today. Today I wanted to teach you about... What? Oh. Who the heck is this? Well, well, well. This is obviously the most deplorable bakery in all's Caluria. Baba, it has been a long time. Years do not pass unnoticed, huh? Ludovar, to what do I owe such an unexpected visit to my store, and without a prior invitation, I should add? I have come to supervise your apprentice. Why else? I see. Shiny, let me introduce you to Ludovar, the Archmage Baker of Keluria. He manages and evaluates the peoples of all the magical bakeries in the area. And my rank is the highest, do not forget it. As its bakery supervisor, and according to the regulations, I came to provide the Academy's exam shell for you. Hmm? Furthermore, I must warn you that, due to your advanced age, this will be your last apprentice. If he doesn't pass the exams, the baker will have to be closed down and it will be given to another mage by raffle. My shop? Taken away from me? That's preposterous. I have been asking to be a mentor for years and you never allowed it. And now you are telling me this is my last chance? What can I say? We are all very occupied in the academy. The wheels of bureaucracy turn slowly. You should be grateful that we have finally granted you a student. However, from what I have seen in his records, he is not very promising. Oh, you should see him work. At least he can put the dough inside the oven, something that, back when we studied together, you could not even do. <laughs> Whatever, I was planning on evaluating you at the end of the month, but heck, why not? I'll return this Sunday. I expect to see all the required sweets on the corresponding trade. Farewell until then. Alright, we gotta get our crap together, huh? Stinky Belladonna. I knew that slug would drag itself here. Alright, time is pressing. Let me explain how practical exams work. Sure. In order to graduate from the Academy of Magical Bakers, you need to pass all the practical exams. For each level, you will have to bake three different sweets and place them on the exam shelf. At the end of the week, Ludovar will visit the shop to evaluate the sweets and decide if you can be promoted. You can see a list of the sweets you are required to bake on the first page of the grimoire. Clicking them will take you to their corresponding recipes, if you have already discovered them. I'm giving you new ingredients, but I won't be here to watch you today. You're in charge of the shop now. I won't let those rats from the academy take over a single cobweb from this building. Get ready for the exams and look after the customers. I will be paying an old friend a visit. Interesting. Okay. So here it says... Wait, what? The A button doesn't work. How strange. How strange. Wait, why doesn't it work? Oh, maybe because I don't have it. I, I don't know. Okay, so she gave me new ingredients. Um, I guess I should try to make this new thing then, huh? Probably a good idea. I didn't mean to do that, actually. How do I drop this? There you go. Take it.
I guess I'm gonna put that right there. Um. Mm. Hold on, I don't think. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So that says it's one for that one. Let's try it. I mean, this should make something. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Well, the issue here is that I can't do anything about this. I have to get rid of it. Unfortunately. Let me try something. Okay, so it does work like that. What I got? Cute pastry. Okay. I got a cute pastry. A pastry decorated with a cat-shaped chocolate. This sweet celebrates the millennial bond between cats and mages. Uh, nice. Okay. That one does not go there, no. Alright, well, let's put that there. Um, in terms of other stuff that we have here in the pause menu, there really isn't much else. Because I don't have this stuff yet. Well, I guess we just gotta put in these two. Oh wait, can I only put one recommendation? Looks like I can, I'm limited to only one. I'm sure that's gonna increase later. I mean, this chalkboard is huge, you know? Yes, I will open the shop. Let's make another successful day here. Okay, nobody's- oh, there's somebody coming. Okay, where you at? Gee, I wonder what you want. Wait, it's not even- I thought it pops up eventually. Okay. Alright, got that one. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What is going on here? But I can't make bread. Unless maybe I can make it. Oh no, I, the problem is I have too many of these. Yeah, this guy's saying he wants bread even though it's not on the menu. So like, am I, can I make something that's on the menu and just kind of... Huh. How strange. Okay, let's do, I guess, a flower. I'm not going to be able to do this in time though. Too much time has passed. See, they want bread. That is very unfortunate because I have only have one space of storage. And by storage I mean the table. I mean I can put that real quick in there, but this is gonna spoil. Yeah, like, realistically, I don't actually know how long that would take. 
Okay, well, it's definitely... Okay, what do you want? Okay, you got that one. That one's simple. Nice. I'm gonna definitely put that one here because that one's bread. But I shouldn't start the next one because that's gonna get very confusing. What do you want? Okay. I believe I already have this one. Okay, so I have bread right here. Which means I should probably make one of those. Okay, do you want bread? Oh wait, I gotta get mm. paid here. Nice, what do you want? No, you want the other one. That's fine. Okay. Be ready soon. Come on. Oh, wait. It, damn it. Okay. What does this next person want? Bread again. Another one here. I'm gonna take a chance here. I'll do that one. Okay, put that one. Oops, not that. And I'll make a bread. Okay, what do you want? Okay. That one's fairly straightforward. <laughs> hmm, that's definitely the different one. Uh, let's do... Yeah, because I think bread is currently being cooked in there. Right now. I'm pretty sure. Done? Oh my god, this fire does not last as long. Come on, we're almost out of time here. Jeez, that was close. Okay. What's the next one? Come on. Another, okay, a bread. I have a bread already, it's over here. Mm. Alright, what do you want? Hmm. Alright, it's 17. Well, this will probably be the last one that I can do then. Actually, I don't know. If it reaches 18, does it just close? It might just close. Let's see. Oh, no. You're right there. Okay. Cool. Alright. He's gonna finish it. And that is it. End of day. Alright, another day is finished. Can I go? Can I leave? Whoa. Who the heck? Good night. You're shiny, angel. Eek, how do you know who I am? <laughs> Name's Amber. I'm a blacksmith from the outer camp in Kaluria. I came to give you a hand. 
Baba came to see me this morning to see if I could make some fixings around the shop. I used to help her with the oven, but she hasn't been coming to me for a while. She said that you want to pass the Academy of Magical Bakers exam and that you'll pay me for your services, or for my services. Me? Paying for the fixings? Don't you worry, my rates are not that high. Besides, I owe Baba a big favor for the hammer thing. Well, first one is on the house. Baba asked me to increase the slots in the magical chalkboard, so let's get to it. Upgrades with a purple frame are the most important for your exams. Hmm, okay. With a purple frame? Okay, so this is your... Oh, I see. Okay, so this one says, This upgrades... Or, sorry, this upgrade is on the house. Increase the number of sweets you can recommend on the chalkboard by one. Tired of leaving the sweets at the floor, you can safely place them on this table. Oh, like an additional one? Oh, wait, no, I think I already have it, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think it shows that I have it yet. Okay, what's this? I can upgrade Bob's trash so that they are happier and they return one random ingredient that you use to create the sweet if you have to throw it away. Okay. Increase the magical capacity of the baking tray to create sweets with up to three ingredients. That one seems important. Observatory, there's nothing yet. I'm gonna get the... Okay. I bet you'll love this one so it'll give you more ingredients in the morning. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. So we should definitely increase... Oh man, this one then. Oh. Okay, fine. Confirm. Okay, so this one's on the house, you said. Nice. Thank you, thank you. That's all. I will start coming here at night from tomorrow on in case you need more services. And if you don't want to spend those coins, we can always chat. Rest well. Okay, so I guess I can't get ingredients yet. Dang it. That's okay, that's going to have to wait then. Well, I guess I'm done with today, sure. So, are we sleeping? Okay, fine. Let's go to sleep. I okay, guess so I made some decent cash this time. It was pretty good. 110, yes. Order is 10. Then I got one for the exam. That's fine. I got plenty of time. All right, it's now gonna be Wednesday. Oh, hello you. Good morning. Shiny, I'm glad to see you're getting used to life in the shop. Do you like it here? Is it better comfortable? Morning, Baba. Yeah, everything is perfect, thank you very much. I actually love my side of the room. Who would have thought? You are very well mannered, that's good. I wanted to talk with you, Shiny. I've tried to arrange everything so your job at the bakery goes smoothly. Both the local merchant and my dear Amber will lend you a hand whenever they can. But don't think that this stiff old witch won't work hard as well. Quite the contrary, I will help you out too. I'll help as welcome. I will most likely need it. The regulations forbid me from making sweets for you buying supplies or giving you money. However, I am allowed to guide and assist you, and the Academy's rules don't say anything about slipping you a few ingredients from time to time. That's why every morning I'll try to give you some basic ingredients, only if you want them, of course. Besides that, I can also give you a hint on what ingredients are needed to prepare the sweets. But I must insist, my shop is no place for loafers. It's up to you whether you want my help or not. With that being said, here you have a couple of basic ingredients. Talk to me if you need anything else. Okay, thank you. Good morning, you sleep well? Hello, Papa. Am I your first student? The first and apparently the last, as you heard Ludovar say. I'm really sorry you are in trouble because of me. I didn't mean to cause you any trouble. You don't have to apologize. I'm going to do my best to teach you so we can pass the exams. We both need to work hard. You might be old, but I still know a few tricks. I'll teach you everything I can in the short time Ludovar gave us. Besides, we should even thank the Academy for giving me just one student. If by any chance they had given me more than one, that might have been too much for me to handle. Speaking of which, you look, like, you look a little bit mischievous. 
Are you not one of those troublemaker students, are, are you? No, of course not, ma'am. Ma'am? Don't you dare. Always call me Baba. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Baba. Do you want anything? You shouldn't waste your time talking with this old woman. Very sweet. I can donate your grandma a random ingredient for the sweet Talk to your grandma. I'll show you. I see. Took me used to getting my help all the time, though. You won't be able to become an outstanding magical baker. Yes, let's go downstairs. What an interesting concept of a game. Sounds like we're just inside the whole time. Oh, who the heck is this? Celerith. Celerin? No, no. It's pronounced Celerith. The final part is a little tricky for humans. It means hello in my language, the Draco. My name is Shendar, but you can call me Shen since I know we are going to be good friends. Nice to meet you, Shen. I'm Shiny. What brings you to my shop? We're still not open, so if you want a sweet, it will have to be from yesterday's batch. Hmm, maybe some other time. I came here at Baba's request as supplier and merchant. I trade with magical ingredients as well as common and fantastic ones. Do you want to see my stock? I bring the best products for mazes from all around the world, right to your door. I would love to see what you have. I was getting tired of making only bread and cute sponge cakes. Congrats! You have unlocked new ingredients. They are not free, though. You will have to buy them from Shen in the shop. The merchant brings limited amounts of each ingredient every day. You can adjust the, quanti the quantity you want to buy by using the arrows to increase or decrease the amount. If you are running low on cash, Shen can buy from you the ingredients that you don't need or want anymore. Don't worry, you will be refunded the same amount of money you paid for them. Okay, so... Huh. I mean, I think I got these. But the thing is, I can't... Yeah, so yeah, I do have these. Okay, so I have 3, 11, 11. I mean, do I need more? Those are actually pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Uh... I'll buy two of these. And like four of these. Uh yeah, that's fine. Salary. This is all I have. To burn, at least for now. According to your file, I can only sell you basic ingredients. If you pass the Academy's exams, I'll be allowed to sell you some new stuff. Keep in mind that I come here in the mornings and Sunday is my day off. I have good deals and sales from time to time. Oh, that's good to know. One more thing. Baba asked me to install a direct contact booth for you in case you need any ingredient immediately. I can deliver them right away, but I would charge you an extra fee, so keep that in mind. A customer without money is not really a customer. Shen has set up a telephone in the kitchen so you can buy ingredients anytime you want. Shen will send you a package with the ingredients you order. But keep in mind that this service is more expensive and you won't be able to sell anything. I will stay around for a bit, but I will leave as soon as you open the shop. We run door. That means goodbye, or see you soon if you see. Okay, cool. So, I guess the first thing I should try and do is try to make a new ingredient, right? This does actually make something. Yeah, we're definitely making this. It is important that I try to make all these different types before I open the shop for some cash, you know? What I got? Mistletoe pretzel. Interesting, okay. All right. I got the mistletoe pretzel. In other continents, this sweet is actually salty. As students, we competed to see who could make the most complex knots. I don't think that's anything, though. No. That does not fulfill any of those, which is fine. I'm going to put it right here. But can I make anything else? This one's used for one more ingredient. Okay, so that one makes this one. Let me see here. That 
is not it, no. Like, it's cool that there's that one, but... So, any with three, I don't think I can make yet. I can make that one. Which is nice. Um... Yeah, the only thing is I don't have too much money. Or too, too, I should say too many ingredients to be able to do a lot of these. I could definitely buy more if I needed to, but it might not be in my best interest yet to make all that. Um, let's do... Hmm... That one will sell for 15? How many of these can I make? The, the pretzel. Ultimately, it does depend on how many I can make because if I require that, I will need to buy a lot of the mistletoe. I mean, it will help me profit in the long run. But they're pricey. Um, that's okay, though. I think, I think I'm okay with this. Because in the end, it is profit. You know, it, it definitely is profit. And it's better to buy the food now. So that I don't mess this up for later. So we're going to set that up. Because I already have the mistletoe one over there. That's fine. And this should hopefully be okay. I mean, I can... Oof, I need to buy more flour, actually, because if my goal is to sell both of those... <laughs> yeah, I mean, to get more free ingredients per day, I'm going to have to upgrade that chair that they were talking about, or whatever. So that will help. That will definitely help. But we'll see. Okay, so let's do... I mean, I guess for now, that, that's fine. Let's just open the shop. I think we're ready. Yeah. Open the shop? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do... I'm gonna actually go ahead and make one of these as well, just so I have one of each ready. And then put that in there. Alright, what you want? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Oh my. <laughs> oh my freaking god, these stupid people. Okay. I hate this crap. Okay, let's do. Yeah, see, because they can still ask for stuff. That's what's confusing me. They can still ask for stuff that is not in your menu, which I find so stupid, but, like, whatever, right? Okay. Come on. What do you want? The same thing? Oh my god. These people are trolling me. This, this food's gonna spoil if I'm not careful. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I need a second table. I, I mean, I obviously I already need a bunch of upgrades because this is not gonna work out. Oh god, oh god. Come on. Barely, barely got it. Okay, let's go back. Grab this, because this one is going bad, I think. What do you need? What do you need? Somebody, please take bread. Shoot! What do you want? I can't... Oh my 
God. Take Brad, please. Thank you. Take it. Okay, gotta be fast, gotta be fast. Everybody keeps asking for the same stupid thing. Nobody has asked for a mistletoe yet, even though I literally have it up on the menu. That is so annoying. No, go, go up there. That one's might not make it in time. What? What just happened? Come on. I gotta sell as many as possible. I need the cash. Okay, okay. So I have a mistletoe ready. What do you want? Mistletoe! I got this one for you. Alright, what about you? Come on. Please tell me. Oh, okay, another one? Sure. I can make that. Okay, how do I make this again? That plus this? Sure. Okay, anyone else? Another one customer's coming in? Okay. I'll grab this one first while well, the customer thinks about what they want. Honestly, this game's pretty fun, I will say. It's it's a good concept so far. It is engaging, which is good. Okay. Can you grab the money over here? simple. Okay, what does the other one want? Mistletoe. Okay. Let's start prepping the mistletoe. Come on, come on. Okay. There's your bread. Okay, so mistletoe for the bottom. And the top one is going to want bread. That's simple as well. that in there. Give me the cash. Thank you. Oh shoot. Not ready yet. There we go. Here's your bread. And this is probably going to be the last customer. Maybe. We'll see. Mistletoe, okay. Let's actually see, are they gonna get their order in in time? Uh, seems like they did not. Okay, so that means that this is the last one. There you go. Alright, I made some pretty good cash. Pretty good. Alright, so I'm actually going to have to end things here. I know it's kind of a cliffhanger, right? But, yeah. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.